assalamu alaikum doctors today our topic of discussion is all around the cholinergic agents and anticholinergic agents so doctors in this lecture i am more focusing on certain important tricks and mnemonics regarding with the cholinergic agents and anticholinergic agents so that you can easily recall it so without any wasting of time let's move toward the cholinergic agents now cholinergic agents is being classified into two types that is directly acting cholinergic agents and indirectly acting cholinergic agents which is also called anti choline esterases so the cholinergic agents broadly classified into directly acting cholinergic agents and indirectly acting cholinergic agents which is also called anti cholinergic choline esterases now direct directly acting cholinergic agents further classified into choline esters and alkaloids so in the category of choline esters we are having some drugs also alkaloids contain some drugs so for that we are having certain tricks so that you can easily recall it so choline esters for the choline esters we are having trick that is a b c m where every single alphabets will correspond to the one of drug of the choline esters of cholinergic agents now a stand for acetyl choline B stand for betanicol C stand for carbacol M stand for methacholine so the choline esters we are having for the choline esters we are having having a trick that is abcm where a stand for acetylcholine b stand for betanicol c stand for carbacol m stand for methacholine now if we talk about alkaloids so for the alkaloids we are having a trick that is map we are m stand for the muscurian a stand for ericoline p stand for pilocarpin so the alkaloids contain muscurian ericoline pilocarpin so that's all about the directly acting cholinergic agents it is worth repeating directly acting cholinergic agent broadly classified into choline esters and alkaloids choline esters contain acetylcholine betanicol carbicol and methacholine now for the alkaloids we are having a trick that is map we are m stand for muscurian a for ericoline p stand for pilocarpin now now let's talk about anti choline choline esterases so anti choline esterases contain two important groups that is reversible anti choline choline esterases and reversible and reversible anti choline esterases now in the category of reversible it contain carbamates and irreversible anti choline esterases contain organophosphorus compounds now students there are a lot of drugs are coming under the class of reversible anti choline esterases so for that we are having an another trick for it that is paneer c d g where every single alphabets will correspond to the one of the drug of the reversible anti choline esterases with the, with the exception of this and we will not focus on this and out of this paneer cdg so the reversible anti choline esterases contain paneer cdg where p stand for the pyridostigmine plus pyridostigmine P stand for the physostigmine and pyridostigmine N stand for neostigmine we are E stand for the adrenophonium R stand for rivastigmine C for carbaryl D for donpazil 
and G stands for galantamine. So, the reversible anticholinesterases contain a, a lot of drugs for that we are having a mnemonic that is Paneer CDG. Their P stands for physostagmine plus pyridostagmine, N stands for neostagmine, E stands for adrophonium, R stands for rivastagmine, C for carbaryl, D for donpazil, and G stands for galantamine. Now let's talk about the irreversible anticholine esterases. So for that we are having a trick that is PMDs. This is the trick for it. We are P stands for melatheon. P stands for melatheon. D stands for diflos. E stands for eco thiophate. S stands for sarin, salmon, and tavan. These are also called nerve cases. So it is worth repeating the anticholinesterases classified into irreversible and irreversible. And the reversible anticholinesterases contain phasostagmine, pyridostagmine, neostagmine, adrophonium, rivastagmine, carbaryl, donpazil, galantamine. For all these drugs, we are having a mnemonic that is Paneer CDG. Now let's talk about irreversible anticholinesterases. So for that, we are having a trick that is PMDES, where P stands for the parathion, M stands for melathion, D for diflos. E stands for ecothiophate, where S stands for sarin, soma, and taban. These are all our nerve gases. So, doctors, this is all about the classification of the cholinergic agents. Now, we are talking about certain another group of drugs that is anticholinergic agents. So, till now, we cover the classification of cholinergic agents with certain important mnemonics so that you can easily recall it. Now, we will talk about the anticholine anticholinergic agents and the anticholinergic agents we are like more focusing on muscarinic antagonist so muscarinic muscarinic antagonist so muscarinic antagonist is classified into two groups that is that is Tertiary amines and quaternary amines. Doctors, muscarinic antagonists further classified into tertiary amines and quaternary amines, where each class contains specific groups of the drugs that is dopa for this. For the tertiary amines, we are having a trick that is DOPA ST, where every single word will show us a particular drug. Like D stand, like D stand for dicycloamine, O stand for oxybutyne, P stand for pyrenzepine, A stand for atropine. S stands for succinylcholine and T stands for troposamide. So the tertiary amine drugs for that we are ha we are having a trick that is DOPA ST where D stands for dicycloamine, O for oxybutyne, P for pyrenzepine, S stands for atropine, S stands for succinylcholine, T for troposamide. Now let's move to our quaternary amines. So for quaternary amines we are having a trick that is A B C M. Now A stands for anistropine. B stand for benzotropine, C for clidinium, M stand for mepenzolate, plus methoscopolamine. So the quaternary amines drugs is anistropine, benzotropine, C for clidinium. 
and M stand for mepinzulate and methoscopolamine. So doctor, this is all about the muscarinic antagonist. So in this lecture, we cover the two important parts of this lecture, that is the cholinergic agents and anticholinergic agents classification with an easy way. So I hope you will like the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe our channel and share us with your friends. Thank you so much.